Hello guys, Keep White on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 100 likes, and if you aren't already, make sure to drop a sub. If you're a Birmingham City fan, and have been watching the videos the past 28 days, make sure to smash that subscribe button, because we're the only Blues channel on YouTube that brings you daily transfer news, daily updates. We're on 2,620 now. Let's see if we can get 2,700 in the next one or two weeks because we've nearly gained 100 subscribers in the past in the last week that is absolutely insane so yeah if you're a blues fan and i've been watching the videos like i said it'll be massively appreciated if you could smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any blues news but yeah getting on to today's video we're going to be talking about um the striker that blues are linked with and ironically it was actually linked with him last summer um some reports suggest in last summer that it was actually on the brink of signing him so yeah um, so Birmingham City particularly interested in free signing. He's a free signing um, striker. He's got he had uh, seventeen goals and six six assists last season. So here we go. So Birmingham City are in the picture to sign Josh Madger in the summer transfer window, according to a report, according to a report from France. Sorry, on Monday Bordeaux announced the striker has left the club after his contract with them expired on June the thirtieth. French journalist um, Ignazio. Generardi took to Twitter to reveal Birmingham City's interest when mentioning the league Liga 2 side's plans to replace the 24-year-old. He says John Eustace's side are particularly interested in signing the former Sunderland man in this winter. Meanwhile, Bordeaux have identified um, their replacement and have already made a €5 million um, offer. €5 million, uh, Euros, I believe that is. Um, over at Le Quip, um, Bordeaux offered uh, Madger a one-year extension with an option of a, of another year, and it was on the table. That offer was on the table for several weeks. Um, Birmingham City are the English club. If um, if they if this report if these sorry if these reports are true, Birmingham City are the Championship club that is interested in his services. And as I said, scoring seventeen goals and registering six assists in the last forty well in his. From 40 games last season, sorry. Now, this is an interesting one, isn't it? Because we was close to signing him on a five-year deal last summer. And it did not happen. We couldn't get the deal done. But now, he is a free agent. So that means we don't have to pay a transfer fee. We can offer him good wages. Because the new owners are coming into the football club. And I actually do think we can actually lure him to the football club. Now, look, he's doing well in the French league. But I'm looking at his record in England... Sunderland, 2016 to 2019, 41 appearances, 18 goals. That's actually, it's, it's not bad, is it? It's not bad, let's just put it that way. Um, he's only 24 years old as well. Fulham on loan, 15 appearances, 3 goals. Stoke on loan, when he went to Stoke in 2022, only getting 1 goal in 15 appearances. But I think we definitely need a striker. That's the main prior, priority this summer. Get a striker in. We can't. I know we've got um, Tyler Robertson to the football club, and yes, it's a good signing. Hopefully, he can do well at the football club. But I do think we need another striker. We can't keep relying on Hogan and Lukasukovic every single season. That has to change, and I'm hoping that we can bring in Josh Madger. There's also been reports, by the way, that we're linked with um, Jason Knight from Derby, the Derby midfielder, and there's also been loads of reports. There's been loads of reports in the last couple of days saying that um, we're linked with the likes of um, what's his name now. Alanga, yeah, that's it. Alanga from Manchester United. We're also linked with this uh, Manchester United centre back called Fish, I believe is that's his second name. So yeah, a lot's going on. It seems like we're just raiding Manchester United. But yeah, I want us to sign Josh Madger. I think he'd do well at Blues. I know he's not really done well in the last two his last two spells in England, but you know, look at that record. Look at his record when he was at Sunderland. I think he'd be a good signing. Anyway, it's been Keep Right on TV. Here, make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Let's see if you can get 100 likes. Like I said, let me know what you think, of, think in the comments down below. And if you're a Blues fan and have been watching the videos the past 28 days, smash that subscribe button. You know what, you know what to do. Anyway, Keep Right.